All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here at the Milton County Sportsman's Association. This is uh, by, by far probably one of my favorite places to shoot, uh, simply because you have a lot of freedom out here. Uh, you got a thousand yard range. You can run up and down the thing. You can place your steels. I can put camera. Uh, they just put together uh, another range next door, uh, which goes out to 200 and then multiple pistol bays, shotgun bays, and they're actually shooting uh, skeet or trap or whatever the hell you want to call it <laughs> down there. So anyway, what are we doing here today? Uh, well, we'll continue testing uh, this rifle with the, uh, this is a pretty neat setup. I think I've done a pretty enough videos on it with the proof research barrel, Lancer tube, Ultradyne muzzle brake, uh, CMMG uh, charging handle, Ace, heart, uh, Ace Tactical, whatever you want to call these guys. Uh, love this thing, an AR gold trigger. But on top of it, we've got the new platinum, the, the PLX, uh, optic uh, 1 to 8 from Primary Arms with the ACSS reticle in it. One of the, when I took it out last week, um, one of the problems was I did not have it zeroed specific to the Callaway Ballistic round, which is a nozzle round, which accounted for some of the reasons why I was misplacing some shots. <laughs> so today, we got a neat little challenge that I wanted to do. I, I haven't received my new shipment in of the 77 grain. Uh, honestly, the uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it? The standard deviation was ex really acceptable. Uh, the accuracy was right there. Probably I could be a little bit more accurate, which is one of the reasons why we're going to use this thing today because I'm testing the rifle, the round, and the optic, not myself or my abilities. We'll get to that later on. Uh, but what are we going to do? Because I didn't get my shipment in, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put this thing on zero using three rounds, okay? And then what I've got up range, and it, the wind just kicked up, uh, and I got bugs all over me. Uh, what I've got now are six rounds in each one of these mags, two mags. So I got 12 rounds here and three rounds here. For the person who's reviewing this, for the guys at uh, YouTube, these are 20 round mags, which are legal. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm just trying to do my thing on the range, safely in an environment, down range. And, okay, so anyway, you get it. I'm not trying to sell anything and all this other stuff. I'm just trying to show everybody, uh, hopefully, that this rifle is somewhat accurate. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, I've got cameras all the way up to 500. Uh, I don't have any more cameras than that because, well, simply I've killed them all. Uh, so I've got one at 50 on the uh, zero target. One at 100, and I really normally wouldn't put anything out at the 100 yard, but I want to see where my impact is uh, when I shoot center uh, mass on that 10 inch target. So there's 10 inch steel targets, and uh, that's it. So what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and bring this thing as close to zero as we possibly can using that 77 grain Callaway, and uh, we're going to try to do it in three rounds, which should be interesting and fun. So, let's do it. Here we go. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to take it out to 500, shooting the 10 inch targets, and see uh, how accurate the uh, BDC is as it relates to those 77 grain. All right. Okay, so right there, I'm gonna bring it down. That's one round. There's the second round. There's the third round. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> Guys, this is the fun stuff. This is what I love to do. This is why I got into YouTubing because it's it's a lot of fun. And later on, we're gonna be doing reviews on two of the other. Uh, uh, what the hell? What do I have? Three or four in there? Stand by. Or maybe that release that bolt. Huh. Hell, I don't know. Not paying attention. All right, so what we're going to do, first thing is I'm going to rotate up to the 100 yard target, 10 inches. And again, like I said, I'm going to shoot or aim center mass on that thing. I wish that I had my tactic cam today. I actually tried to crank it up and it would not link or tether to my phone. So we're going to center mass on a 100 yard target and see where it hits. Okay, so that's perfect because what's happening is a 50 yard zero 
that round is still going up and what it'll do is it'll come down just right on center mass of the 200 yard target. And I'm going to show you that right now. So that's exactly, and the reason you want to do that is so that if you have a, uh, a plate rack at 100 yards, you need to aim at the bottom of each one of those plates. That way you're going to hit them center mass and not have any problems. <sighs> okay, so 200 yards. And what will happen is, you, at 200, I want to aim center mass on that target, okay? Because that's going to bring you, a 200 is basically a 50 yard zero. So, this is a cool test here. Now that's how that works. Perfect. So, interesting. I'd say that's pretty close to center. And what you typically want to do is to calibrate this thing, I like to calibrate it out to 400 yards. In other words, I like to take a target, put a dot, large dot on it, bring a spotting scope out here, and I'll put about five or six rounds out at the 400, and I'll bring it up to where it needs to be. That way you've got to, and it's only going to vary about an inch or so, but I'm not going to get that detailed right now. All right, so now what I want to do is we're going to bring that bad boy up to the 300 yard target, which I can barely see because I got it low. Ah, there you are. All right, and on this radical, radical, that's what I always call it, a radical, I'm gonna shoot at the, the top of the post is my 300. Here we go. Did I hit it? I think I did. All right, cool. Well, it looks like I hit it. A little right, I believe. You can tell we got some wind going on out here. So I might favor left side on the 400. So let's go ahead and bring that thing on up. All right, shifter over. All right, 400 is way over there. And I got no more elevation out of this thing. So what happens, I tilt this up, it drives some people crazy. And that's 500. All right, there we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tighten that down right there. I am going to, well, I'm going to shoot center mass first and let's see what happens at the 400, okay? Alright, so that's, that's cool. Uh, I didn't really see a whole lot of wind up there. So those are 10 inch targets which shouldn't be too hard. One MOA at, at 400 is 4 inches, so a 4 inch circle like that. We are sub MOA so far, but we're going to hit up here at the 500 and a lot of times in three gun you may go out past five uh, not often but at 500 a 10 inch circle is a small circle here we go let's hit it one more time yeah, I missed it missed it again all right well whatever uh, so there Am I happy with those results? Yes. Uh, looking forward to getting some more of this ammo out there and having some fun. I have some more rounds left over. I'm going to take this away and we're going to shoot freehand, see how we do. Stand by. <laughs> Can't really find anything to to shoot up against. So we're going to just use that. It's a thing will fit in there like that, boys. Here we go. 100. 200. Go down to the three. Let's go four. And five. Guys, I'll do that all day long. So anyway, uh, I'm happy. I've got it zeroed, it works, uh, and I'm not touching that rifle again. So we've got the Memorial 3-Gun, which is this t-shirt, coming up. It's probably one of the most amazing 3-Gun adventures you'll ever have. This is going to be a true adventure for me simply because I'm, <laughs> I'm actually, uh, I farted around and didn't get a hotel room booked. So uh, I do have like this eight-man Coleman tent and uh, I'm going to camp out. 
And with that, I went and bought a shower tent, got the water heater, I got a little generator to heat up the water with, run the coffee maker, all that kind of cool stuff. Computer equipment, tables, fans, uh, <laughs> porta potty. It's gonna be fun. So well, part of that adventure is we're gonna share the camping experience. And then I've got a couple of my good friends, x Ring Channel and uh, Is Your Six Covered is gonna be out there with us. So uh, you'll, I'll get, you'll get to see uh, Rick's big old uh, Mercedes-Benz off-road sprinter deal. So with that being said, guys, damn, that's a smile from ear to ear, man. I love it when something is, is successful. I really do, especially a uh, good company, startup company like the guys over at Callaway Ballistics. Uh, they get, uh, to, uh, to uh, free shipping with orders of $200 or more using the discount code of KB32TECH, I think. Anyway, um, that's it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. I love it when it comes together, man. It just makes it all worthwhile. And now we're really zeroed and we can hit some targets. Because uh, the other day, I, I couldn't figure out why I was missing those targets. Well, come to find out, I was about two inches low on the uh, zero. And that does take effect when you're out 600 yards. But uh, we were uh, moving the shots and uh, calling the shots uh, when they hit and adjusting from there. That's the only reason I hit them. So, yeah, man, that's it. Y'all be good. I'm KB32. I'm out of here. I might as well, while we're out here, go ahead and uh, burn up these uh, reloads that I had. These things, uh, I was using these out at the uh, Tar Hill Challenge. And they matched up really well with the M8 in the meters uh, that you would normally see uh, used with the, the 855. But uh, I figured, what the hell, we're out here. Let's see how these match up. They're a little fast, okay? A little bit more faster than I would like. Uh, accuracy is not as good as I would like. But hey, you know what? That's it. It's a good test for this rifle uh, just to see what's going on. So let's see how this Zero compares to the zero and we'll just use this board here uh with the uh, callaway ballistics uh. <laughs> here we go Yeah, you can even actually feel those. They're hot as hell. 100, I'm gonna aim low. 200. Oh shit, I'm pulling the hell out of those. There it is. Okay, go to 300. Let's go to four. See how these match up, that's not that bad. I can't even tell. Five. Where's my five target? Got some wet up there now. I don't see 600. They got a big, the big gong up there. Oh, they got a 10 incher. Got it. 200. All right, that's it. Well, shit. Might want to just keep that recipe going on that one. I think that's 25.4 grains of CFE223 uh, with the 77 grain uh, Sierra Match Kings. Not bad. All right, guys. A little extra. Y'all be good.